And some schools are still closed for tomorrow, which all of that leaves all of these cities and towns with very tough decisions on how to make up for all the snow days the kids have missed. But one form of homeschooling could actually help. Katie Brace joining us live in Taunton tonight with that story. Katie? Jonathan, a snow day is not a day off at this high school. Now, it's a private school, so they're able to get creative with a program to make a snow day a school day at home. Our assignments. Even with the snow day, school remains in session for students at Coyle and Cassidy High School. Tim Sylvia is a senior who, after sleeping in late, went straight to his iPad and two apps. Shoby and first class. To find out his schoolwork for the day. And if I had to do it for a certain time or if I just had to do it. Coyle and Cassidy, a Catholic school in Taunton, piloted the so-called virtual snow days program last year when all their students started using iPads. Fortunate foresight, as Tuesday was snow day number six this winter. School president Mary Pat Tranter says it keeps learning constant. What you can guarantee is if everything is loaded on a child's iPad, as long as they have power or if it's charged, no matter where they go, they can take it with them. When you're out for multiple days, whatever happened prior to leaving very often is lost. Tranter says they are still fine-tuning the program. She points to when the blizzard canceled school for three days and some students had eight hours of work each day. We have to learn to effectively balance workload with play and sleep and shoveling and family activities. Tim's mom thinks it keeps him on track and has taught him new lessons. He's totally independent with it. The school says about 80% of the students get their work done. Tim already submitted his online. I kind of see it as like, this is something I got to do, but like, it's, it's for the most part, not that bad. And Tranter says they'd eventually like to make the online learning a legitimate way to make up a snow day instead of the kids having to physically make up that snow day. Reporting live in Taunton, Katie Brace, WBZ News.